Okay, Rex, hope you guys are well on your end. What we have here today is some shrimp coleslaw salad. We're gonna plate it like that. So baby's gonna tell you how it was made over the video. We're gonna top it with some red sweet pepper. I'm not gonna eat, but I'm drooling. All right. Then I have some fried shrimp right here. I'm gonna plate it right there on top. You're gonna use three. All right. Take a look at that. Hey, Rex. Welcome back. My name is Jay. Trin is out again. As I said in the previous video, she broke her tooth. I'm not going to stop saying it. It's pretty funny. She's a eater, you know. Welcome back to our channel. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe for the vibes. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Share this video out with your friends, your family, and loved ones. I'm going to say grace. If you have nothing good to say, don't say anything. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. Amen. On the menu today, Babe made a coleslaw shrimp salad, as she stated in the intro. So, we have cabbage, carrot, all blended up, and she made a little sauce. And she put it in there, and she made a little coleslaw. It's homemade. Yes, it is. Just in case you are wondering. And then she fried us some shrimp. So I'm going to take a few bites and I hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful week and having something wonderful to eat and have done something good since the week started. First bite. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, that juice. Mm. Oh, is that good? The cabbage or the carrot are in, it wasn't cooked, so all the vegetables are raw. Hence the crunch. Hmm. Hmm. Just in case you guys were wondering, we do have a topic today. Now it's a pretty funny one. It's a game that Babe and I was, was playing a few nights ago. Mm. That's a big shrimp. <laughs> mm. So, it's a game. Oh, I forgot to tell you. They had this sauce that she made. It's a little bit spicy, but oh, yeah. Mm-mm. Mm. Mm-mm. Okay, back to the game. Okay. So the game was why your friends with your friends or what do you and your friends have in common that made you guys become friends to begin with it sounds long but it really isn't break it down i have two friends and we're gonna do the two friends that i have right so <laughs> and, and and don't feel sorry for me I, I only have two friends gosh for me that's a lot so we'll take that as it goes so the two friends, I'm going to state what I have in common with these two people, why we are friends. Now, not everything is going to be good. They do have good qualities, of course, but not everything is going to be good. And this was the funny part about it, right? Because you never know what you and a person have in common until you actually really sit and think about it. And you're like, wow. Case in point. Here we go. 
and side note if you see water splashing this way that's babe and I she's trying to there's two words I'm not supposed to use in my vocabulary and if I ended up using these two words on camera I will get water splashed in my face so if you happen to see that don't be surprised side note okay so my two friends <laughs> what I do have in common with these two people I'm, I'm gonna take a bite for this one One thing I do have in common with these two people is that they are, you know, I say playful. Many people will probably, <laughs> many people will probably phrase it differently. But I say they are very playful when it comes to um, dating and, and, and any form of intimacy and stuff like that. They're very playful. I mean, are they players or not? <laughs> I didn't want to get involved in no. that. <laughs> I was hoping you didn't. That's the thing. But, I mean, technically, that is the right word to use. They're considered players, you know, technically. But, what does that make you? No, I mean, I have it in common because I do, I can relate. You know, it's something that I can relate to. So, yeah, it's one of those things. All right, you sit and you think about it and you're like, okay, cool. The next one, <laughs> the next one. Mm. Okay, number two. Another thing that I figured out that we do have in common in, is that they are extremely quiet. And, and maybe that's one of the reasons that we got attracted to each other in the first place because they're quiet and I'm quiet and we tend to relate in a different way or through different things, except verbally. <laughs> I'm not sure, but there are people who express themselves through music and they have a tendency to find people who tend to um, understand their way of expression. And I think that was one of the reasons why we became friends to begin with, because certain things are hard to find in people. And let's be honest about it. You don't find everything in everybody. And when you do find a rare thing in a person, you tend to hold on to it for dear life. So, I think that was one of the reasons too. Now, if you think about your friends or maybe your spouse, and I don't want to get anybody in trouble or anything, you know, but if you think about, you know, stuff that you, what attracted to you to that person or you and that person have in common, you might be surprised at some of the stuff that you come up with. Let me put it that way. Because sometimes you're in the relationship and you're not really seeing why you and this person are meant to cross, cross path or anything like that. And you take like five seconds and think about it, you see all the things that you have in common and it makes sense to you after a while. It makes sense why you can't let the person go. It makes sense why you hold on to the friendship even when they do bad things. You know, you find ways to forgive it and, you know, try to make things right. Now, Comment down below if you've ever sat for two minutes, five minutes, excuse me, 
for however long just to think about the people you have in your life and why they're there. When I went through that exercise, there was a few things I did not want to admit about myself. I must tell you that. <laughs> when we play, because Bay plays games on the spot. Usually I'm not aware that we're about to play a game. <laughs> when this game came about, it meant to be one of them things like, oh, fun. Mm. But when I actually sat and thought about it, there was... There was things that I did not want to admit to as a person and an individual. What was one of those things? You I am not admitting it now. <laughs> 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 but there's things you 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 find out and you see and it enlightens you and it teaches you. You know? So Comment down below if you have done such exercise and how has it been for you and if it has opened your eyes in any way. Mm -hmm. so, when babe comes back, we will definitely play this game again. Because then we'll get to actually have that full on fun of it. But Now that was the meal. I'm absolutely stuffed. The shrimp was delicious. The cabbage, the coleslaw. The coleslaw was absolutely crunchy, creamy, and delicious. I enjoyed every bit of my meal today. And I do appreciate my baby for making it. Even though she cannot enjoy it as much as I can. Now I want to thank you guys for tuning in today and joining me again. They will be back pretty soon. I'm not too sure when, but she will be back pretty soon. When she gets back, we will play this game again. <laughs> so, until next time, have a good time, have a fun time, have a jolly time. Put laughter in your life. It will light it up. Bye, guys. <laughs>